So hello and welcome back guys, so, in this tutorial I'm going to, so I'm seeing a lot of people having trouble uh, assigning the skeleton, assigning the metahuman skeleton to the, to the default um, UE5 skeleton of a new engine. So I'm going to show you the right way to do it. Uh, so basically I have two different metahumans here, I'm going to use uh, the male meta human first and uh, basically when you when you add everything there when you add your first uh, you go to the uh, quixel bridge you add your meta human there and then we import it uh, to to the folders here you're gonna see that you have this this folder I have Oscar I'm going to double click on uh, the blueprint so here, as you can see, I have uh, a lot of uh, his body by parts, uh, divided by parts. And on the event graph, I have this code here. So let's go to the uh, third person template, third person, third person char character. And uh, double click on that. And here I have this code to control the character, right? Um, and here, if I press play, uh, I just created a new project. So, uh, as you can see, it has uh, IK foot bonds. So it basically uh, d does the the math to place the foot in the correct position. And I have the the commotion of run, jump, uh, fall animation as well a little bit, uh, and all those controls to move the camera and everything. And we want to to assign. We want to have the same abilities that the this character has. Uh, UE five default skeleton, default mannequin, uh, whatever. To to have the same abilities that uh, this guy here have uh, to the meta human. So the right way to do that, I guess, is by uh, retargeting the. Uh, retargeting the the, the the mannequin uh, with the the third person character. So I'm gonna show you how I've done it. Uh, so here on the BP Oscar, you're gonna go to the body, and here on the um, first thing of all, I forgot to I forgot what I did. So here you go to class, uh, go to class settings, uh, the parent class. We're going to type uh, third person character. So once you do that, uh, all the all the um, uh, all the uh, once you do that, you can leave on that. And then, as you can see here, inside of the BP Oscar, I have uh, as well this uh, character from the BP third person ca character. So this is like a child of uh, BP third person character. Yeah, I guess that's it. So if I press compile save, <clears throat> I go back to the third person map. I just delete this, go to the world settings, uh, if you don't have that in there, just go to Tools, go to Window, and then uh, place your world, uh, world settings there. Uh, just tick that on. And here, you're going to click on this error, and default PAL class, we're going to change that to BP Oscar. Uh, once you do that, you can notice that I have this mess here. If I press play, I'm going to have this mess. <laughs> Looks funny. Um, let's go back to the BP Oscar. You can close the, the BP third person character if you want to. Uh, let's delete this root. We don't need the root. And let's move the body to the mesh. So the body is now is going to be attached to the mesh of the uh, of the U5 uh, U5 default mannequin. So as you can see here, the uh, when I move my character, the mesh also moves. So that's why I did that. Uh, that's why I moved 
That's why I moved the body to be attached to the mesh. Uh, and here, as you can see, the body is rotated to the wrong side. So we're going to go to transform, make sure you have your body selected, and then you can reset the value once and then twice. Now once on location and once on rotation as well. So resetting the values is going to put the character on the right position. <coughs> oh, this is weird. <coughs> oh, my throat. Uh, I have an error here. I don't know why I have an error. Uh, target. This blueprint itself is not a scene. Comp, therefore, target must have a connection. Well, uh, we can basically we can basically delete this. We don't need that. Just se uh, select uh, select the. Well, if you hit compile, you're gonna you're gonna have some errors. You can just delete those. It's not important. Compile. Go back to the viewport. And if you press play again, let me see if it works. Okay, there you go. Uh, as you can see, my character, my metahuman character is not moving at all. And so what we can do for it to move, we can go to body and we need an animation class. And uh, let's go to the skeletal mesh, browse to asset. And then here, we're going to right click. We're going to create and create an animation blueprint. We can write a uh, meta ABP, enter, and then double click on that. And this is the, the meta human animation blueprint that we're going to <coughs> use for the BP Oscar. So on the animation class, you can choose uh, meta ABP. All right. Uh, I can just compile and see if it's recording, yes. Um, all right. So what are you going to do in the, the MetaHuman uh, animation blueprint that we've just created? It's basically, um, uh, it's basically creating, uh, we're going to basically retarget uh, the, the balls, the balls for mesh. So everything that the uh, animation, let me show you. Just uh, many. We're going to go to many animation blueprint of many. As you can see here, we have all the skulls here uh, for specifically the this mannequin uh, right here. As you can see, it's running the idle animation, and all those uh, states of animation is going uh, are inside at the animation blueprint of many. So what we're gonna basically do here is just uh, use the IQ retarget asset to retarget the meta human to the mannequin or uh, vice versa. So we're going to choose RTG mannequin. Uh, I'll click on that and then click on compile. Save. Make sure to save it. Make sure to save it uh, everything because it might crash and. Uh, that's basically everything that you got to do here. Uh, so let's go back to the BP Oscar. As you can see, the the mannequin is already perfectly retarded. If you press play, uh, as you can see, it's already working. All right. And then let's test the IK. Oops. Okay, it's working. All right. And now we're going to remove. Uh, we're going to turn on, uh, turn off visible the visibility of uh, the mesh of the UE5 the UE5 uh, default mannequin as well. So if you could, if you go here on the search bar, select the the UE5 mesh, and let's search for visibility. And here on the rendering, if you turn visibility off, what's going to happen when you compile and run the program? Uh, the well, the mesh is now turned off. It's not visible. Uh, but if I turn off the visibility, it also turns off the 
the animation that runs in this animation menu here, it's not going to affect the mesh of the MetaHuman as well. So what we can do to fix that, we can go here uh, also on the mesh. As you can see, I have it's the same. Let's go to the mesh uh, visibility based aim tick option. We can choose to be uh, all the stick poles and refresh balls. So when it's you know what's gonna happen, right? When I compile save, now it's going to refresh the bones. There you go. Now, if you have any problems with uh, we're targeting, maybe the arms are not placed uh, correctly in the right position. Maybe, maybe the character runs weirdly uh, for you. You can just here. You can just go here on the meta human IBP. Select this retarget pose, and here on the IQ retarget asset, double click on this. And here, as you can see, you can just uh, preview the animation, how it's going to be in the world. Uh, we can choose the preview. Uh, this is uh, the meta human. The, uh, the, the, this, this body is the meta human body, mesh, skeletal mesh. As you can see, the body here uh, moves the, the the arm. Sorry, uh, moves a bit weirdly. So what you can do, you can go to retarget phases, and here on retarget IK, you can just turn that off. And as you can see, it's now fixed. Uh, that's the problem that I found, and it's very useful uh, to know that because um, some mannequins it can have this problem here. So you can just tick that off, and they're ready to go. You can close out of that. And close out of that, close this, and on BP Oscar, there you go, press play, it's just normally normal now, normally normal. But as you can see, I think it has uh, of the female poles, because there is, as I know, there is, a, if you type ABP, there is the, the many poles, the idol, and the queen, so we change this to menu uh, we're gonna choose ABP menu and now we have the male version of the item so compile save we have an error no and now we have the male pose for the metahuman skeleton as well yeah I guess that's it Now we have the IK. So what we basically did, we just uh, grabbed the code from the third person character to the metahuman skeleton, to the to the metahuman in the right way. Um, uh, one thing to remind of doing uh, in the process of doing this is that Uh, if you want to do this process, do this uh, before everything, like before uh, setting up. Now, if you want to do this process, you want to move your code. Uh, for example, if I, if you have already created uh, animation, if you have already created an animation blueprint and a uh, character blueprint, you're gonna have to move your code, uh, everything inside the BP third person character, or um, maybe inside Oscar, uh, whatever it's better for you. But and also, also you wanna move if you have an animation blueprint, you're gonna move uh, the code of your animation blueprint to ABP menu. So you're gonna have to uh, move to maybe uh, if you have modifications here you're gonna have to copy uh, those and then you're going to place those here so you're gonna uh, adapt your code to the uh, animation blueprint of many and to the BPO score or third person character as well and I guess that's it for the tutorial I guess uh, this is going to fix uh, the most issues that you guys are having with it so thanks for watching and uh, I see you in the next one. Bye bye. Um, also, if you have uh, BP Hannah, it's the female version. You're gonna of course use the uh, 
uh, on the BP third person character, you're going to use the female animation blueprint as well, which is Queen. Uh, so that's it, and bye bye.